Yeah, yeah, so let's go. Welcome back to the video. So it is race day, November 27th, 2021 for Locker Northeast Regionals. Time is 6.20. I'm going to be leaving for the train station in 10 minutes. See you all there. We arrived at Penn Station. Now we just gotta find the subway. Hour and a half train ride. Now we gotta go another 40 minutes on the subway. Right there. So James, you ready? Yep. Sir, 40 minutes, so two and just over two hours of travel today just to get there, then two hours back. We have made it to Van Cortlandt Park, James. How you feeling now? Good, good. So that was like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, I think. 40 minutes on the subway. Yeah. Subway's definitely uh, it's an experience for itself, right? Yeah. Uh, there, there's nothing like it, definitely. Like <laughs> it's different, it's different. Yeah. Hey, James, you want to tell the vlog what, uh, what the story was when he got the bib? Yeah, uh, Skull used it to get a shirt, but then I was going to ask him to give it to me, and then I was going to get a shirt, but they marked it already, so I couldn't get my shirt, which kind of sucked, because I was going to tell him when I already ran. They outsmarted him, basically. They did outsmart me. Yeah, yeah, and it's a nice shirt, too, you know? It is a nice shirt. Yeah, well, I mean, it is what it is, right? It's what it is. Yep. Alright boys, we just wrapped up the meet. For anyone, for any of the viewers not know who any of you are, introduce all yourself. Say your name, we'll start it off here. Uh, hello, I'm Oliver. Let me just go around. I'm Xavier. I'm Wolfgang. I'm Issa. <laughs> I'm James. Yes sir. James Great trip to New York City today. On like a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the environment at the race today? It's kind of like I, 9. I would say it's probably like a 5. People weren't as hyped as other races. Honestly, I think the most hype race is Homedale, like the short oh, coaches. Yeah. But it was... No, the most hype race is um, Cherokee. Cherokee was really good. That was really good. But I think, I, I think overall the meet went, it was pretty well. I mean, like, it was fast. But it, it, was, it was really good. I don't think I'm going to retell my Metro Park. Boys, we made it into the city. We had a great day in Van Cortlandt Park. Let's have some fun, right? We did have some fun. Yes, sir. Now, let's have some fun. Yeah, let's now. Have some fun now. Now. Right. We're in the city, right? We are in the city. We're in the yes, greatest sir. city in the world. I mean, how about Las Vegas, though? I, mean, I haven't like... been there, so. Ah, uh, all right. And the, great, the best city near us, how about that? Miami's definitely better. But hey, I mean, we're in New York City. That's all that matters, yeah, right? Exactly. That is all that matters. Yes, sir. It is the next day, so yesterday was one of the best race trips of my life, without a doubt. I had so much fun, that's going to be one I'm going to remember for a very, very, very long time. So, I'm going to start off first with the mile. So, the mile is pretty, the first mile is pretty much completely flat. Maybe like 0 0.96, 0 0.97, the hill started to hit, but it's so, it, the race went out extremely fast. And I ended up coming through the first mile in 5.02, which isn't, you know, terribly fast. I have went out in, uh... 455, 458, so 502 is not that bad for, you know, a completely flat start. But after the one mile, the hill started to hit, and oh boy, did I slow down a lot more than I thought I did. I thought I was moving at like, you know, like 1610, 1620 pace, but I was really running like 540, like maybe like 530, 540 pace, and I did not know that. I did not have a watch on, and I was expecting there to be a two mile clock, because there was a one mile clock, it said 502, so I was like, all right, when's this two mile coming up? When's this two mile coming up? Because I didn't know the course, and that ended up being no two mile clock, so I ran to the two mile without even knowing any my splits nothing so the hills were very tough and in on the trails there's like these uh like these beams on the trail which like um it's like a layer so it's like uh fl it's like flat and then it drops flat and it drops so i had to be really careful about that 
and I went through two miles. I said, I don't know. And then um, I knew the race was you know, almost over because we came over the bridge. And this bridge uh, was where this clip was right there. After that, I knew I just had to go down this hill and then the finish line will be almost in sight. And uh, there were a lot of people in this race. So uh, I definitely had to kick at the end. Ended up coming through with a time of 16.57. Now, am I happy with this? Yes, you know, um, I was, you know, as I said, hoping to go, you know, maybe a PR, but Van Cortlandt Park is not a PR course. It's very tough, and um, top 30 did not get, again, 94th place. But, you know, I thought about I thought about this to myself before the race. I said, you know, after 10th place, it really doesn't matter, you know. Like, you, like there's all northeast, but, like, it doesn't really matter, like, all regional. Uh, just top 10 was really all that matters. So after 30th place, I'm like, after 10th place and 30th place, I'm like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's just all about time now. So, yeah, that was the final cross country race of the season right there. Pretty crazy to say. It's time for indoor. Uh, definitely not as excited for indoor as I was, you know, for cross country because, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of training in the winter. But, you know what? That's what we got to do. So, see you all in indoor.